Hey, welcome to How It Plays. I'm your host, Anthony. And I'm Francis. And today we are playing The Nightmare Cathedral. Mm -hmm. All right, but before we jump into the game, let's go check out the primer. At first glance, Nightmare Cathedral may look like your typical monster fighting area control game. In reality, haunting imagery brings to life a two-phase experience where players take on the role of dreamers, directing the course of their joint nightmare through action selection. Nightmare Cathedral is played in two phases. In the first phase, as players take turns choosing actions, they will collectively build, you guessed it, the Nightmare Cathedral itself. Once built, the second phase of the game begins and the nightmares are released, followers get devoured, and game end is eventually triggered. Each player has a starting tableau consisting of five actions, each of which correspond with action locations on the board. Players use their dreamers to select an action, then refer to their cards, which can be upgraded throughout the game, to determine how the action resolves. Dreamers always start their turn in a night space, one of the dark spaces adjacent to the two or three action spaces. The only actions a dreamer cannot choose are those adjacent to the current night space. Players can also pick a legal action space and simply draw two cards without resolving the action. The available actions are to perform a ritual by climbing the ritual track, summon followers by placing new units from your supply on the board where indicated, fortify by building fort levels, maneuver which grants movement and allows players to convert units into followers, and develop by playing development cards. Each action has a corresponding pair of reactions. These are effects that may be performed by other players after the active player has finished their turn. If the reacting player is not in a night space adjacent to the active dreamer's action space, they can take the descent effect depicted on their own corresponding action card. If they are adjacent, they can choose either the descent effect or the more powerful conform effect. Players also start the game with dream cards. These dream cards are objectives that help guide player actions by awarding victory points for meeting conditions. They can be swapped out at the end of every turn if the player desires. Finally, the player's hand consists of development cards. These cards could be action upgrades or ploys and are played during the develop action. All development cards can also be played in conflict to inflict injuries and defend against them. Conflict only occurs in this game when required by a card and players can choose up to one card per unit they have in the fight. Killed units go to Limbo, where they can assist with ritual track progress, and defeated units retreat from the conflict area. To the victor go the spoils, if they're fighting shadows. At the end of the active dreamer's turn, the turn marker is moved and another piece of the cathedral is built. Once the entire cathedral is built, phase two begins and the nightmares are released. There are eight nightmares in the game and players will play with two. Each nightmare is unique in how it traverses the board and how it interacts with followers. Development cards, including upgraded actions, now give players an additional benefit. They can command the nightmares. In fact, this is the only way nightmares move. The nightmare's main purpose is to devour units and drive the end of the game. However, some nightmares also destroy forts, produce units, and convert units to followers, among other benefits to the controller. Each nightmare has a devoured limit, and this limit will determine how many unfortunate followers will need to be eaten to trigger end game. If a player reaches the end of the ritual track, or if the time marker enters the fourth space, end game is triggered even if the nightmares are still hungry. When endgame is triggered, scoring is very simple. 
the player with the most devoured units is awarded 8 points, while 2nd, 3rd, and 4th place receives 5, 3, and 2 points, respectively. Players then earn points for their position on the ritual track, upgraded action cards, 1 or 2 points for 2 or 3 level forts, and finally for any completed dream cards. Will Nightmare Cathedral be a dream to experience? Find out now as we show you how it plays. All right, welcome back to the nightmare. So spooky. Welcome to our nightmare. Yes, where we shall. These are not what my nightmares are made of. Well, no, not even close to this. We're going to be uh, <laughs> we're going to be doing all sorts of strange area controlish things while we generate followers. We fight each other with conflicts. Yeah, it's and... interesting because like it, it does. It seems like it should be area control type of thing, but that's yeah. not really how you're getting. Points it's a skin. different it's twist on it, but you'll see. You'll see how that works. Yes. So um, you've already seen the primer, so you kind of know how the game works. Uh, just a couple quick things for setup. Mm -hmm. uh, with two players, we have three pieces of the cathedral already built. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, those two slots are empty on the track up top because it's not a three or four player game. Uh, we've already chosen our starting night position, so when we take our actions, it has to be a non-adjacent space. Uh, we've got our starting uh, locations in the corners. Mm -hmm. So we've chosen our corners where we have our fortress where it can't can't be taken. So uh, that's like sort of our, our base of operations. We've chosen a um, non-corner um, based location yes. to, to put uh, additional followers. Right. If you're adjacent to the, the cathedral, you only get one. If you're not adjacent, you get two. Every other empty space is filled in with shadows, which is basically the NPC characters. Creepy guys. The non-players, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, and we are ready to rock and roll, I think. We so, sure are. Uh, we, we have our starting uh, five actions mm -hmm. that we can take, um, but we each got a random upgrade. So which one did you get? Yeah, so I actually upgraded my develop hmm. action, so which is going to let me uh, play some extra cards and... Um, Obviously, our conform and descent are a little bit different too. So yeah, so you'll see as we go along, yeah. like how the, how they're uh, they're really just stronger versions. You got to fortify, right? right? And I got fortify, yeah. which allows me to build uh, forts out on the board. Mm -hmm. So uh, we each have our two starting nightmares. Our dreams. Our uh, dreams, rather. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, these are the good things, right? So these are dreams yes. you're trying to achieve. They're they're basically um, during the game achievements, and they give you sort of uh, direction. I they do. Say. They they really do guide your gameplay. Yeah, because without these, you would just be. It would we would truly be just just area control yeah. and just trying to like maximize end game points. But in this case, you're actually trying to achieve these during the play. So yeah. Um, so we'll be going Some through points. these, and every turn you have a chance to cycle them. So they're very important, and they, they play a big role in the game. Yeah. Um, so so we've oh, got. Oh, I guess going. you're trying to have these good dreams, these good yep. outcomes in the midst of. Well, let's uh, so hold yours up. Don't show me yours. I won't show you yeah. mine, and then we want to just. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and crop in on these so you guys can see okay. exactly what we're kind of heading for. Yeah. At least off the start. We're going to change these out. And but... we will get more of them as we complete them oh, as Oh, yeah. Well, so. And you're allowed to have a max of two. We also have a starting hand of three cards, right? So some of them could be upgrade cards. Some of them mm -hmm. can be what they called ploys. Four, I have four cards. Oh, four. Well, well here's what I said. I oh, said, yeah. Three plus our basic yes, combat. This happens right? when I don't get to finish my thoughts. <laughs> Sorry. So uh, <laughs> we have three cards that we were dealt plus one. And you have a basic combat card that you always have. You play it, it always comes back. So you'll always have this card. Um, but we were dealt three others, and they could either be ploys, which are cards you can play um, if you ever have an opportunity to play a card, or um, you'll have upgrades in your hand that you could potentially upgrade any of your other actions. With that said, that's it. This is the turn track. You are player one. Mm -hmm. You are going first. Yes. Uh, where are you going to move your dreamer? All right. So my dreamer is going to go. Uh, now, again, we are starting in these night spaces mm -hmm. and the only uh the only actions unavailable to both of us right now are these two because yep. they're adjacent to our spot so i will go all the way over here where's my yeah my develop is gonna go right here so i'm gonna like, take i what? like the idea of actually putting, putting my cards these, like, in order, in order <laughs> of the actions <laughs> right so that it kind idea, of right? it makes sense right because so it goes because the first action is performing the ritual, the second yeah, one is the right, summon, right. I'm then, sold. The, then the fortify, I'm sold. then the maneuver, then the develop. Okay. So if I were to set up this game, that's how I would have set these cards up. <laughs> but, um, you know. 
Well, okay. well we're, we're not, we won't go there. <laughs> but, yeah. uh, okay, so I'm going to take the develop action. Um, and this is basically your like play cards action. Mm. So I can play up to two cards. Um, a maximum of one of these cards can be an upgrade. And then I can draw a card. So when you play cards, lots of other things usually are going to happen as well. So let's see what happens. Um, first, I'm going to upgrade my summon because I have this summon upgrade. Mm -hmm. And that just goes right on top of your basic card. Yep, that's it. It's a simple um, action. I'm going to... I'm going to play this right now. It's just one of my dreams mm -hmm. was to have at least two upgrades. I can play this anytime. Yep, so, you score it immediately. Um, so it just, just goes off to the side. Put this over here. Face up now. so that we yeah, know it's so scored. We know it's already and then, scored. Um, so we have that. So that's done. So and at the that. end, I'll grab another dream. Well, yes, during your dream card during phase dream of your phase. turn. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is play for my second card. I'm going to play this ploy. And I receive two movement points. And then I can perform a conversion in my shaper's area. Well, you area. actually didn't even finish your turn. What? Right? Oh, I see. You play the two cards first, and then you draw a card. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, exactly. I'm not okay. drawing cards yet. Yep. Um, so I'm going to perform a conversion in my shaper's area, then resolve a conflict. So what I'm going to do is I get two movement two points. Movement points yep. I'm going to move my shaper one, and then I'll move one of my little guys, my followers, mm -hmm. one as well. Um, then I can perform a conversion, and mm -hmm. all that means is that I'm going to take one of these uh, shadows yep. and replace it with one of my followers, and then resolve one conflict. Yep. So the only conflict on the board right now is this one where yep. I'm located. And that conflict can, can be anywhere that there yes. are two different factions in exactly. the same zone. Yes. So Doesn't I have will, to be you. I'll go ahead and choose this one because it's the only one out mm -hmm. there. Um, and the way that this works is I can play one card for each of my followers. Yep. Our cards, as you can see by the card I just played, has combat effects on the bottom. So either shields or scratches, yep. uh, hits. And my goal is to get a hit that he can't defend so that I can win. If you don't want to lose <laughs> a guy. Or whatever, if I don't want to lose a guy. Because so. if you lose a guy, they go to limbo. And yeah. limbo is not bad because you can use people in limbo mm -hmm. later. So it's yeah. actually... Almost good to it's, lose yeah, car to like, lose followers in this. Yeah, yeah. It, it, which is really really neat. So, um, so go ahead. It's kind of okay. Uh, you can so play I up will... to one card, like you said, per per follower on the board. Yeah. So I'll play. Well, I'll just play. I don't know if I really want to play both of these. Well, this is your discard, right? Because that one's going away. That's your yeah, action. So, so I get that confused with the uh, combat. Um. Yeah, I'll just play my. Well, you can play I'll face play up because it's just you. Yeah, oh, it's just me and the gray guy. And the gray so. guy. So, you're, you're so basic I'm just going to play my basic combat card. Yep. I didn't want to waste the other card that I had in my hand. And it just has one hit. All right. So you've just flipped the top card of the conflict deck. Ooh, and depending on one. how yeah. many baddies there are, so there's yeah. only one, this is what he gets. So he's actually going to do a shield and a swipe. Yes. Yeah, so he's so, actually going to hit me. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, and defend against you. Yeah, he is. So, so he's going to stay there. He's not even going to go you, you go to limbo. Yeah. That's okay. And then he stays. He stays, yeah. But the combat's over. Combat is over. So this comes back to my hand. Yep. So um, basically, if you're the, um, if you have control, mm -hmm. um, which you did because you had two two guys mm -hmm. that you had the majority, right? Um, you determine the outcome in a tie. Right. Right. So. Um, so you get the victory, and when you fight the uh, the shadows, they you get the victory. Condition. Based on their conflict card. So you may spend one follower from the conflict area to build one fort level here. So oh. you can build a fort here if, if you get I ready to follow. If I spend a follower? Yep. That's your victory um, condition. Yeah, that's actually not not that bad. I'll right. do that. That's fine. Okay. And he actually has to retreat because he lost. Yeah, because he lost. So he so goes to an adjacent area. area that's either empty or mm -hmm. one where he has presence. Yes. So I get to bring out level one fort. Yep. That's so now you, cool. you control that yes. for sure. Um, so I'll go back to my developed action, which is the action I took to do all that stuff. Yep. I'm going to draw um, one card, yep. and that's it. Now, that's it. Um, because I went here, you actually get an opportunity not to... Not yet, though. Why not? Because before I actually get to react and take a mm -hmm. an action off of your action, you oh, have get to, to get, get my to dream? do your dream card. So. Oh, okay. That's fine. So she can choose one of the available um, dream cards yeah, or from the top of the deck. So I can't see play at least one upgrade. Mm-hmm and start a battle both in a single turn. So upgrade and battle in a single turn uh, for two points. Have upgrades for the following actions, ritual and summon. Oh, oh that's very close. Oh. And yeah. climb at least four steps on the ritual track in a single turn. Oh, wow. I'll take the, uh, I'll take dream upgrades. All right, Thank so you. there's your one. Now, you also have the opportunity to 
get rid of the other card and trade it in for a different yeah, one. Yeah, I um, I'm I'll just hold on to it. It's okay. fine. Because yeah, you, you basically can get rid of your dream cards during this phase of your turn. Yeah. So now that that so basically her turn is her action part is pretty much over. Now it's everybody yes. every other player's turn. So uh, to react. Yes. So her action was develop, and and if I were adjacent to that action, which I'm not because I'm all the way over here, mm -hmm. um, I can't conform to it. But I, I can dissent, and dissenting for develop, based on my card, mm -hmm. not hers, is um, draw a card. So I'm yes. going to get to draw a card for that. And then finally, I'm just going to move my uh, dreamer up to the night space. Night space associated with that guy. That's it. So, so um, normally at the end of your turn, now this would be end of turn. Uh, we would build, take a piece of the cathedral and mm -hmm. build it, but we we don't do that until our second turn right. each. So yeah. I go now. Um, and your turn's up, and we don't build, and I won't build one, but on her next turn she will. So, yep. um, what I've, I have an option here to either perform a ritual or to summon. Wait, what? Where no, you can't do either of those things. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't. I, I, <laughs> this is the ones I can't yes. do. Yes. <laughs> um, I will do a fortify. Oh, okay. So basically, uh, I could spend zero or two of my followers to build one or two fort levels. So I will build um, a single fort level. Uh, in an area I control. So I will, obviously, it's the only other area I control. I will build a fort there because mm -hmm. it will cost me zero followers. Oh, right, because you have the upgraded one. It's zero yeah. or two. Yeah, right. and I get one or two fort levels. So I will build that. Maybe I'll, maybe I should get rid of um, two guys and then just, like, if I get rid of these two mm -hmm. and just built a level two height fortress, fort, I think that's better. Um, and that's it. That's my only action. Okay. So, um, so um, my... You don't get to do anything yet because I'm still oh, yeah, doing my cards. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> All right. I'm going to hold on to that. And I'm going to hold on to that. So I'm good. You can do your... Um, you my descent. are not adjacent, so you can no. only descent. Um, spend two of my followers to build a fort level in an area under my control or draw one card. I'll draw a card. All right. So there you go. There's your Thank card. You. Oh. That's it. My guy goes to the adjacent night space. We go to the next round, and now we're yep. going to start building Some the cathedrals. cathedrals. <laughs> All right, so All it's right. your turn. All right, so. All right, it's to you. <clears throat> um, do I want to climb the ritual track? There's nothing wrong with that. Um, each under your control produces one. Each marked area produces one. Where are we right now? We are on the like the idol, like this yes. guy, alien head. So these, so depending on the symbol on mm -hmm. the turn track, that'll be which areas are marked. Mm -hmm. So there's always three of each. Shapers. Also oh, keep in mind okay. this is a one and two player side of the board, so it may look different than other boards you've seen. Yeah, and resolve one conflict. Ooh, interesting. Okay, maybe I'll do a summon. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll move over here. I will go to summon action. I have an upgraded summon, so this is what I get to do. Um, each area under my control produces one. So I'm mm -hmm. going to produce followers. So this guy is just like churning out followers mm -hmm. everywhere. Um, each marked area produces one. So we have like the little idle heads. Oh, so the idle heads yeah. produce one. So we've so got one... one here. So you produce there. Oh, not that guy? No. Oh, Who, what guy? Gray guy? No, no. He, it's whoever owns the area gets to produce. I so I produce, too. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Okay. Cool. Excellent. Um, receive one movement point mm -hmm. and then perform a conversion in my shaper's area. That's fine. So I'm just going to okay. move over here. Yep. Shapers can shaper. go anywhere. They kind of fly. They do. And they there is a limit on how many people you can have on the board. Three. Here in each space but your shaper that doesn't they apply don't apply because he's like flying yep. above unless you have an upgrade of fortify which allows you to break the, the limit rule a little bit all right yeah so, and now i need to resolve a conflict uh, which again just I think one i yeah it's just yeah, then yeah. resolve one conflict you're the only one wow that's a tough one i know <laughs> <laughs> good luck so with tough. that i think my guy that i just converted is probably gonna die yeah i'd say all right um, so all right, what are you applying that's okay I'll take it anyway. Yeah, well, you get one card. I get one card. Yep. I don't have any good cards, so I will. I'm just gonna play my basic combat. Basic combat. All right. So he gets the number two, 
which is two strikes. Yes. And, and you get one strike. So you kill one of them, but he kills you. Yes. So you go to Limbo. So Limbo, and Gray area. Gray is dead. Uh, gray wins. Yes. Uh, defeat. Add up to three shadows to an area of your choice which is not under your opponent's control. Okay. Anywhere I want to. Anywhere yes. you want to. Area, An area of your choice. So an area. Up Minding the... Uh, Minding the limit. Limit, I guess. So we'll yep. go here. And we'll go here. And that's it. An area of your choice. Oh, okay. Not areas yeah, so of your choice, right? <laughs> so that would be... I'll just put one there. Yeah, just keep going. There. So that's fine. They're not like bad to have out. They're good, actually. Yeah. Um, because you need them. Right. You need to fight in this game. You do. What's so, your next uh, bit here? That's it. That's all I do. So that was your summon action? That was my summon. Do you want another dream card? Are you good with the ones you have? I think I'm good with the ones that I have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like my dream cards. You like them? I like my all dream cards. All right, so now I can actually conform to this because I'm adjacent. So my conform, I can conform or descend. It's my choice. Um, I can, one of my forts... Because you're adjacent. Yeah. Yes. One of my forts produces two or I can climb one step on the ritual track. I will produce two on my fort here. And because of my fortified upgrade, I am allowed one area to have four followers in it. And that's the area I choose to have okay. four followers in it. Nice. So that's my, my, my deal. So that's it for you. Um, you get to build the next yes, piece I do. of so, the... Yes, I do. Yeah, so the cathedral. So the way this works is there's like this little gravel path that you can probably see on the top cam here. Mm -hmm. And this is just going to go right in the side. Yep. So it's it just like snakes. A, oops, except I always put these on backwards. Yeah. I'm not a nightmare you cathedral need a, architect. Uh, you need an engineering degree to Apparently put this thing so. together. Uh, but we also get one follower. Yes. Um, each. So in an area we control. Um, yeah, an area we control, right? Mm-hmm. I'll go there. There you go. Okay. All right. So move the turn marker, please. Oh, I didn't. Yep. There we go. Yeah, and you'll see, like, we have our colors around here, too, so you can remember, like, whose mm -hmm. turn it just was. <laughs> yeah, so it's my turn. Um, what is the mark we're on now? The tree? The tree. Interesting. The tree. Okay. The tree. I'm going to... I think I'm going to play cards. Okay. Why not, right? So I'm going to do what is the uh, develop action, which is over here. Okay. Uh, play up to two cards. I don't have any upgrades, so I'm just going to play two cards. So this one is move up to three of your followers from any single area mm -hmm. to any marked area, which is the tree. Oh, nice. Oh. Resolve one conflict. Uh, okay. Oh. There's like four people there. Right, but they're not my color. Yes, the limit of troops yes, is only yes. your color troops. So right. I'm only allowed to have three or of a, me of a of a color. Yeah. So three. There, so you theoretically you could have three blue, three have like brown, nine. and yeah. three gray. Yeah. So yes, that's how that works. The, the, the limits don't matter. Um, yes. Only that pertain to you and your particular troops. Right. All right, all right. Uh, resolve one conflict. So clearly, I'm going to fight these guys. Hmm. Um, I can put out three cards. I'm just we'll gonna, overkill for yeah, one Yeah, it's quite a bit. I will, I'll just play one card. I don't need to play three. Okay. So I'm going to play this one. It's three strikes. Wow. That's um, a serious... Two defense. Oh, that's wow. That's why I did that. Okay. Um, because sometimes you never know, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So he ends up dying. He did no damage to me, so I don't lose anybody. But mm -hmm. my victory produced up to two followers in an area that is empty or under your control. I will bring in two followers down here. Nice. So that was a, well a gamble. Thank you, thank you. Okay. So I control this now. This card is done. I get one more card play, and I will do this one. This is climb one step, one gray step on the ritual track. Then I may discard two cards to climb one gray step or one blue step on the ritual track. Mm. I'm not going to discard two cards. <laughs> That's a uh, lot. I'm just going to take that free climb okay. and call it a day. So that was develop, uh, and I get to draw a card at the end of it, and you can decide... You do your dream? Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna. You're not gonna swap. No, I'm okay with. I'm okay with them now. My descent is just to draw two cards, so. Yeah, so go ahead and draw your two cards. Yeah. So there's your descent. Thank you. Uh, I will take a piece of the. Cathedral. Of the cathedral now, and we get to move our shaper one space. 
That's the bonus. Mm. Where am I? Here. I will start my journey this way. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. um, I'm just going to keep him where he's at. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so it is your turn. Oh, interesting. Now we're going to play um, probably another turn each, and then we're mm -hmm. going to do our normal cut, and we'll come back um, <clears throat> to when we get to the next sort of phase, phase two, right? Where we yeah. bring out the phase two cards and all that good stuff starts to happen. So much fun. Yes. Okay. Um, all right, my turn. Mm -hmm. I am also going to do a develop action right now. So, card. It's card time. Okay. Uh, my first is going to be to upgrade my ritual, mm -hmm. which allows me to play this. Have upgrades for the following actions ritual and summon, yep. which I have both. So. That's at any time? That's at any time. All right. Um, and then I am going to do this. I'm going to play this ploy card. <clears throat> Perform up to two conversions in a single area adjacent to your shaper. Hmm. Then resolve a conflict. So I will perform these two conversions. Oh. Ugh, I can't reach over this table anymore. Perfect. Um, and resolve a conflict, which there are, there are no, no conflicts, conflicts that can be board, done. So, so that's good. That's fine. All right. So that's that was so. your card. Um, play up two cards. Max can be an upgrade, draw a card, so I get to draw a card. All right. And I do get to take a... Dream card. Dream card. And I can't see which ones we've got over there. What do we have? Oh, four steps in the track in a single turn. What's that top one? Play this one upgrade. And start a and battle start a in battle? the same turn, yeah. Lose a battle against an opponent. I guess I'll take that top one. If you don't mind. Uh, this one? Mm -hmm. All right. Oh. Oh, you wanted this top one. I mean, I'll take a random one. You want to take a random? Yeah, I'll just take a random okay, one. Okay, there you go. Um, so my action what? is... Um, so I can react here. I'm, yeah. I can conform. And this is... So you're doing develop, right? So I could either play a card, not an upgrade, or I can draw a card. Um, I think I'm going to draw a card. I'm kind of low on cards. Okay, that's it. So you want to, um, so you guy goes into the night. You want to draw a, uh, build a cathedral. Oh, yeah, here. Is that right? Yeah, it goes in the corner. It's a corner piece. Oh, there we go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I suppose some of you us, do arrange it properly. Some of us do piece. have an engineering degree. Not, not one um, of us has an engineering yeah, degree. Yeah, so that is go up on... Uh, the, uh, on the ritual track. Ritual track. So okay. you just want to go up one? Yep. And I'll go up one as well. Uh, all right. So I think we've kind of covered most of How the, this, of the yeah. actions, right? So you've seen performing rituals is literally just as you've seen going up this track. Um, sometimes you do have to pay followers if, mm -hmm. if the card says you do, right? And then you would just pay a follower from a region that shares this mark. Right. right? Which Quite I'm simple. Sure we'll do. Yeah, we're, we're going to get to it at some point, yeah. right? Uh, you've seen the summoning, mm -hmm. which you did, where you just produce units where there's forts. Yep. Uh, you've seen fortifying where you're building forts. You've got to see me do that. Uh, maneuvering is quite literally just maneuvering and, and initiating conflicts. Yeah. Which so you've seen that. And conflicts. Um, and, and then developing, developing yeah. where you're just playing cards from your hand to do basically these actions. Right. Right. So you've kind of seen that flow. Um, we're going to continue to do this and kind of like jockey the board. Um, every turn, like I said, we're adding to the cathedral. Once it gets to a certain, to just about finished, right. we're going to come back, and then we have to basically replace all the cards with level two cards. That'll be when we get to this right here. Yeah, there. to the big so, dog piece. Two, three, so you'll see as this thing starts to starts to, to get some height. <laughs> um, but we'll be back. Um, well, to you, it'll seem like a flash, but to us, it's going to be a little <laughs> while. So see you in a bit. All right, so we're back. Um, actually, it wasn't very long. It wasn't. Long. <laughs> it's not very long at all. So I just finished my turn, and um, I'm about to place the last, well, the third to last piece, yeah. but it's the last piece for all intents and purposes is why we brought you back. So hand me that. Um, yep. 
piece of the cathedral, right? So I just finished with a ritual action. Um, this last piece of the cathedral for now is going on, right? Yep. And that reveals this two, which means that the stage two cards are coming out. Mm -hmm. So quite simply, you've got this um, conflict deck. So there's a stage two conflict deck that um, will replace the stage one conflict right. deck. So it's just going to get a little, a little tougher. A little tougher, right? So we've got the stage two uh, dream deck. Mm -hmm. So we're going to shuffle it in with the remaining dream deck. A couple of cards, right? Yeah, a handful right. of cards there. Shuffle this together. And then we take the offer that was already out here. Those get shuffled in as well. So it's going to be a mix of level yeah. one and level two dreams to finish this game out, right? And then we're going to create a new three dream offer. So there's a level one, a level two, and a level one. So What's that second one that's out? That is devour at least five followers in mm. a single turn or okay. shadows, right? So that's using the uh, the nightmare. So that's why okay. this is coming out. Yeah. So these level one ploy discards going away. We would normally shuffle the level one ploy um, action cards, whatever you want to call them. I took the last one. <laughs> yeah, but you took the last one. So we now have just level two cards coming out now. So it's right. perfect. So that's it. So we're going to move the dial up again. <clears throat> yep. My turn. You're going to take a turn. Um, and once the cathedral is fully built, just two more pieces. Oh, crap. Okay. We're going to bring out the nightmares. Nice. So, That's good. All right, so we'll come back when the when we get there. Oh, okay. What do you want to play through? I think we should just play it. Go ahead. Okay. What are you gonna do? Well, unfortunately, I wanted to do a maneuver, but because of where I'm located, I You're can't. You're not doing anything like that. And I have like way too many cards. Yeah. Two, three, four. So you have an eight card limit, by the way. Yeah, I have nine cards because of the card I just drew on the end of your turn. I was hoping to be able to get rid of some of those mm. in a conflict or something, but not yet. <sighs> Not yet, so I'm not doing any of that. Um, I have some guys all over the board, though. Um, I could do some ritual stuff. I could summon. Where's my areas I'm controlling right now? I control that. I don't control that. No. So I'm only going to get guys like right there. You only control two areas outside of your own base. So one, two, Right, yeah. Three. That doesn't count, right? Nope. Yeah. Um, it's so contested. Three, have your followers fill one to two fort levels in areas under your control. Uh, maybe I'll do a fortify. Okay. Build some. No, I don't want to do fortify because I still do want to do a maneuver next turn. <laughs> Well, because the thing is, like, you take your fortify action and it lands you here. Yeah, and you And stuck. now you don't have access to all three of these. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So you have to basically do one I of really these. need to take one of these down here. So like summon or ritual, maybe go up the ritual track a little Again. bit. Again, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, I'll just do a summon. That's fine. All right. I'll like, bring some people out. So what is your summon um, action? Each area under control produces one. Okay. So... so uh, one here, Two. one here, and, and I can't, can't bring, bring anybody else over there. Each marked area produces one, so we are on this, like, Oh, each marked area produces thing. one, so, um, yeah, I have majority there. Um, you can't produce. No. And he is going to produce. Yeah. And I will. Okay. Um... Receive a movement point and then perform a conversion in my shapers area. So, a movement point, I could bring somebody back. What's our ritual track look like? Yeah, I don't really know if I want to move anybody. I'm just going to do this. Just convert? Um... Yeah, I, I mean, I would move this guy out of there. Mm-hmm. You can't. But I can't because he literally can't go. No, you're not allowed to move um, oh, I can't move out people because you've out got here. of yeah. a zone where here. there is an oh, enemy. Oh, stop with your rules. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your rules. Just clarification. I know. Okay. All right. So um, would you so like good. to get a dream card now since that's the end of your... Yeah, I don't know. I was like devour five followers. And yeah, that's not happening until those big guys come out. I know. Yeah, but I don't know if this is happening like ever, so... Yeah, I'll switch this out with that Nightmare Dream. This one? No. Oh, you want that one? Okay. Yeah. Here you go. Thank you. All right. 
So. Um, and I have to, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have to get rid of one of these cards, actually. Yes, you do. And it's going to make me draw a card. So let me just wait till I do that, I guess. Um, what was I doing? I did summon. Mm -hmm. um, perform a conversion in your shapers area. Did that. Um, then resolve one conflict. All right, which zone would you like to conflict? I would like the conflict to happen. It can happen here. That's okay. fine. I'll fight you there. All right. Well, you um, you get to draw a card. You get to show a card. Yeah. The uh, the defender, whoever controls the area, shows last. Mm -hmm. Plays their cards last. He who laughs laughs last. <laughs> well, I'm only drawing one card because I only have one guy. Yep. So. Nice. I can play up to three cards, but I'll just play two. Okay. All right, so you struck me, mm -hmm. I struck you. Actually, he goes to limbo. He goes to yeah. limbo. I win the combat. I get nothing for it. When you fight people, you, <laughs> you don't get, get anything for it. Is that a level one? Cool. Yeah. Um, that's the beauty. And I actually don't draw a card. I don't know why I was thinking I'm drawing. Yeah, so. Yeah, so I'm good. So, so now you're I'm good. Done. You're done. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Um, okay. So we so that's are. Go there. You can uh, do your. You can actually conform if you want to. Okay. What on is it? Summon. What does it? What does it give me here? Let's see. One of your forts produces two peoples. Ooh. Um, or I can descend. Climb one step on the ritual. So I'll do the conform. Um, I don't have a zone with four in it, so I'll bring in two right there. All right, so this is going to come on top of here. Boop. Wow, the chimneys are going on. Okay, I'm going to make sure that's... Okay. All right, that's um, cool. And then we're going to bring out shadows. Here. All right, shadows go to any, any empty. Which I don't think we have any There are empty. no empties right yeah. now, so no more shadows. Yes. All right, so it's turn. my turn, and I'm just trying to see here. Boo, boo, boo. What do we have? Okay, I can I can do this. I can do this. Um, where am I? Fortify. Do I want to fortify? That's the question. Where do I want to move? Maybe I'll fortify. Let's do that. Okay. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna fortify. Mhm. Mm and my fortify action is spend zero or two of my followers to build. A fortress. I will spend zero of my followers and build one fortress there. <laughs> um, and I will. That's it. That's like literally all I get to do. Mm -hmm. So, what do you want to do? Um, I actually want to trade one of my cards in. You want to trade your dream card? Yeah, I'm going to no. get rid of this one. I'm going to bury it. I'm going to take one off the top. I hope it's a good one. <laughs> I hope so. Um, and my descent is okay. that I can spend two followers to build a fort okay. level, or I can draw a card, and I will draw a card. Okay. Thank you. Oh. All right, so if you can hand me the chimney, my turn is nice. over. Okay. Oh. And that's the last piece. It so sure is. This bad boy is built. Da, 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 da. The cathedral is. <laughs> All right, so the nightmares are coming out. So there is a group of people that are kind of creepy. Mm -hmm. And there's this giant head with a tail. <laughs> which is equally creepy. Which is equally creepy. So they start in the cathedral, mm -hmm. and they're going to just come out when we take control of them, and they're going to go around the board and start devouring people. Now, if you'll flip that board yes. over. We are now turning into a giant mouth, and it's going to start eating our followers. It's so scary! <laughs> <laughs> nom, 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 nom. All right, so now we're going to fill that up. And yes. the end game condition here is when 11 followers or 11 yeah. things get devoured, yeah. game's over. And that is just because of the nightmares that we're playing with. Right. So that's the highest of the two nightmares. Of the two numbers for our player count. Right. So once we get 11... Yes, yes. Beings in there. So that was my turn. We go to the next round, and it is your turn. Yes. 
They're back here. Okay. Yep. So what are you going to do? I am going to maneuver. I have to do this. So I get six movement points. Mm -hmm. And then perform a conversion in my shaper's area, then resolve three conflicts. Six movement points, wow. Yeah. I don't know if there's three conflicts on the board, but we can make that happen. Um, produce in any one. Oh, yeah, that's my conform. So I will go one, two. Mm -hmm. um, one, two. Guys down there. Maybe so he's going to conform. I'll do one, two, three, four, five, six. How about that? Shows sure. my six movement points. Okay. Uh, perform a conversion in my shapers area. Oh, you know what I forgot uh, to do at the end of my oh, last what turn? Did you do? I want to score my card just okay. because I was supposed to do it at the end of my turn in case something happened here. Okay. Um, it's at the end of any player's turn, which is the end of my last turn. Have right. two forts which are not adjacent to another area under your control. Oh, okay. And I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's all. Uh, well, that is actually near that, adjacent to that. So. Oh. See. So oh, all right. Guess Sorry. Not. <laughs> yeah, I guess I probably should have put that over here. Probably. Yeah. All right. Um, you had that. We you had that card last time we played. Yeah, I don't like this card. One. It's really yeah. hard to do. I think it's, it's really kind tough. of a dumb. How many card. points is that worth? Three? It's worth one point. Really? Yeah. I, I wouldn't do that. It's it's really a dumb. Point. I'm gonna trash that card. Actually, it's worth two points, but it's still okay. not worth it. Still. All right. So I did my conversion and then resolved three conflicts. So. Yeah, yikes. Okay. Um, okay, so conflicts are happening. We have to do three of them. Mm -hmm. So I'll start I'll start over here mm -hmm. with my guys and those gray guys. Okay. So there's two gray guys, and I can play two cards? Two cards you can play. Oops. Don't mind me. <laughs> um... All right, ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you've got four attack, mm -hmm. and they have two guys. They're going to do one block and one attack. So you're going to kill three of them, and they're going to kill one of you. Okay. So one of you dies, two and of them. two of them go away. And I win. And you win. And the victory, victory is devour up to two of your followers. Yes. And add one level to any of your existing forts for each follower <gasps> devour. Oh, exciting. Okay, so devouring happens because, because it's not directly related to our nightmares. Mm -hmm. It happens anywhere on the board, so I can literally get rid of two of my followers yeah. anywhere. Um, and let me think about this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because um, what I'm thinking is I could like get rid of these two guys mm -hmm. and just not fight okay. <laughs> and save my cards. You know what I mean? You could do that. Um, you're still gonna have to fight here for the third conflict, but um, but I could devour them. I think I'll do that. Goodbye. Sorry, guys. Mm. Nom, so nom, 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 nom. They're in the mouth. Um, and I can build a fort for each, a fort level for each dev devoured, right? Mm -hmm. So we can do one, and I can do, I can do one here. Mm-hmm. Or I could just like keep building this thing up. You can go to three because you get more points for the. You the, know what I mean? The, the higher three, yeah. So that's pretty neat. If I can get it on there, it does fit. There, there you go. go. Okay. Um. Cool. So that was it, and then uh, so the second conflict is gonna have to be here. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna fight those guys. So yeah, so I'll just play one card. Okay. Basic combat. Yeah. And they're gonna do. They're going to block it and kill my guy. So well, they have a three, actually. So. Oh, yeah, so they're going to block it and overkill him anyway. So defeat, add up the three shadows to the conflict area. Can't add anymore. Yep. So. Not bad. That is that. Okay. Cool. And that's there's no other conflicts on the board, so. Not that I see. Third conflict can't happen. So what was your action? 
That was, that was it. The maneuver. I did a maneuver. So I can conform. Produce in two. Produce a total of two in areas of your control. Or draw. Actually, yeah. Or draw a card. I'm going to draw the card instead. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, and that is it. My turn. Mm -hmm. So I'll move the uh, yeah, move the player marker. Up. Yeah. Oh, it's my turn. Oops. Okay. There we go. All right. So let's see what I can do. Not sure what I can do. So let's. Um, yes, I don't have any great cards here. All right, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do develop. So if you would you mind putting me on develop? Yes. So I'm gonna upgrade yeah. my maneuver to a level two maneuver. So that's, it. so my developer lets me play three cards, a maximum of one of them being an upgrade. So that's my one upgrade. Um, I'm going to play this ploy, which is. Um, Resolve the following effect up to three times. Remove one level from one of your forts and then add it to another one. So mm, basically that's just cool. swapping that up to three times I can do that, right? And then after resolving this effect, draw one card. So I drew my card. Um, so that's my, I can play one more card now, which I'll play this. Eliminate a unit in the marked air in a marked area. The marked what, what mark are we on? We are on the moon. So the moon. So eliminate one shadow. If it was a shadow, climb one step on the blue or the gray tracks. So oh I'll nice. Go up okay. One on the gray tracks. So those are my two cards I just played. Um, so then play up to three cards, then draw a card, and now it's your turn. Okay. Well, actually, I can conform to that because I'm sitting right here. Okay. Which is crazy because my conform. Let's me play up to two cards. It's like basically wow. that action. So, yeah. um, so for my first card, um, I'll do. What's um? Go over the nightmares again. What their abilities okay, are. Okay, so the the crawling head. <laughs> um, like when you command head. him, he moves exactly three spaces. Mm -hmm. Right. So he's in the he's in the the cathedral now, so he's going to come out. They don't go back in. So once mm -hmm. he comes out, he can move, like, say, one, two, three, and he would right. stop here. And then he must devour one unit or place one of your followers per area you move through. So each area you move through, he would drop a unit or eat a unit. Uh, and if he plays more units than you ate, then you would get a card. The right. crowd of people, um, they move up to one space, and then you must devour up to three units in that area. If you devoured an enemy follower, you climb up these this track. Mm -hmm. Um, if you devoured any shadows, you build one fort level for each shadow you, you ate, mm. which is pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. But I want to devour some people. All right. Well, have at it. Okay, because yeah, I'm going to play this, <clears throat> which is... Um, yeah, which is devour one unit or command one nightmare, or two command one nightmare. Mm -hmm. So I can devour one of my units or any from unit, here, right? Yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Here. To command one nightmare. Mm -hmm. And I could command like this guy, for example. Right. Right. So he's he's he moves gonna exactly move exactly three spaces. Exactly three spaces. So he could go like one, two, three, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And he's either gonna produce or eat. Yep. Each step of the way. And when he lands That's it. He just produces that's it. or eats each step of the way. Oh, I don't have a guy there, though. Well, he could produce there. I know. I could produce in all of these places. No, you can't. Yeah. Because there's already three in that no, first No, but there's one. not three of me. Oh, oh, you would, well. Oh, if I could not produce one of my guys? Well, he you, would, mean? you could produce. It just basically says you just you devour one unit or place one of your followers. So, yeah, mm -hmm. you could place yeah, your follower there. So you could place your follower here, your follower here, and your follower here. Yeah. And then you would get to draw a card. Two, three. Okay, maybe we'll do this instead. I'm going to go one mm -hmm. and put a follower. Mm -hmm. Two mm -hmm. and put a follower. Mm -hmm. Three and eat my follower. Okay, so then you get a card. And get a card. That was how, That's how he works. Um, so that's good. That's exactly what I'm going to do there. Um, and then...
Hmm, interesting. And then I'll do uh, one of my forts produces equal to its level for my second card. Okay. I'll play with two cards. Um, and I'll do this one because it produces three. Plus one, two, three. All right. See what I did there? Mm-hmm. Um, so that was my conforming that was. move. Now it is... Uh... Now it's my turn. Your turn. turn. So you can move my guy into the night. Yes. And then take your action. Okay. I don't know why I'm looking at these cards like I'm gonna play them because I'm not. <laughs> um, all right. I guess I will. Uh, I'll go ahead and do like a ritual. Okay. So draw a card. Mm-hmm. Draw a card. Uh, climb the ritual track, and I can also spend followers in limbo because I have a lot of guys in limbo right okay, now. Okay, so you spend three but... limbos and you can go up. A... So you get one free move for yeah. blue or, or gray. So which one do you want to move? Um, up? I'll move this tan guy right here, but not well, not for free. I'll spend a thing. Mm -hmm. I'd rather save those limbo guys for these other. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'd rather do this because I don't really feel like fighting you there. Okay. So he's gonna get eliminated. So you get a free move now. And I get a free move. So I'll just move up a little more like that. All right. And then what else? Um, that's, that's it. it. All right. <laughs> so I can it. descend. Yes. So I will take a card as my descent. Okay. Draw a card. All right. That's it. Yep. Your turn. My turn. Uh, okay. So I will do... What do we have here? Hmm. Ay, ay, ay. This is tough. Tough, tough, tough. I'm trying to think of what I have. Oh. All right, so I will go and I might as well fortify. Mm -hmm. or, or produce. Nah, that's not going to work. Let's go fortify. Okay. And I will draw two cards because I'm not. So that's one thing we didn't show you guys. You, if you take an action, you don't actually have to do the action. You can just take two cards. Right. There we go. Okay. Mm hmm. And you did fortify. Mm hmm. I'm not adjacent, so I can spend two followers to build one fort level in an area under my control or draw a card. I'm going to draw a card. Okay. These cards are so good. They are good. All right. Uh, I am going to see if I'm going to get rid of one of my things. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of this card, and I'm going to draw a card off the top. A dream card. All right, here go. I'm going to go here uh -huh. and do my develop mm -hmm. again. Um, oh, did we remove this too? So one of them is going to be an upgrade, mm -hmm. which will be... Do I want to do that? I might as well. Here, I'll upgrade my Fortify uh -huh. for one. Um, and then for my other thing, I'll do this. So I'll devour a unit mm -hmm. to command a nightmare okay. again. Um, and then the people again, they move, they move through. One. They move one and, and devour eight, three people. Three people. And then you can go up one step per person you devour. Yeah. If you de if you devoured any enemy followers, you can climb the steps. That's it. But they only move one. One. Oh, that sucks. And you can only and the bonus is develop is devouring your enemies. Right, right. And that gets you up this track. Yeah. Yeah, the head is still the the better, the better move. I mm -hmm. think. Um, well, I guess it depends. It depends. Yeah. So he can go. Like he could go one, right? Mm -hmm. Chomp. Two. Chomp. Mm -hmm. Three. Produce. Mm -hmm. Right? And you don't get a card. 
And I don't get a card. Because you chomped more than you produced. Because I did. I chomped more than I produced. Yes. That's okay, though, because I don't need any more cards right now. All right. So what else? Um, so that was my second card. Mm -hmm. uh, then I draw a card. Okay. And, and you, you can a dream card? You can descent if you want to. I'm going to look and see. Uh, descenting on developing is drawing two cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. I will draw two cards. Ugh, I wish there was a, like, we could like wipe these because they're no good. Yeah, they are pretty bad. Um, okay. I may swap this out. I'm going to swap. Mm. That's tough. This one's like devour five followers in a single turn. Uh, yeah, that's pretty rough. I'm just going to switch that out for whatever's on the top of that deck. Okay. Hopefully it's better. There you go. Okay, I can do that. All um, right, you know, so oops. if you can put me on develop, please. Yeah, for sure. All right, I'm going to upgrade summon as my first. I can play up to three cards, one of them being a an upgrade. Um. Mm. Uh, Interesting. What's that? So, I'm going to play, I get to play two more cards. I'm going to play this card. So, move a nightmare to the cathedral. So, I'm going to move the head to the cathedral. Okay. And I can devour one unit in an area adjacent to the cathedral. So, okay. devour him. Okay. Put him in there. To command that nightmare. So, I get to command him now. So, I'm going to send him out for one. Mm -hmm. Send him out for... Actually, I'm going to send him out this way for one. Mm -hmm. Send him out here to eat one. Okay. Two. How many did you have sitting out there? What do you mean? Did you have four guys out there? Yeah, I'm allowed to have four guys. Oh, because you're four right, right. Just like... To <laughs> sit one down, and I get to draw a card. Because you devoured Cause I devoured one and, one and put and, out yeah. two, right? So that's my. We've got two, card. four, six, eight. Eight. So I get to play yeah. one more card. Um, and I'm going to go like this. Devour one unit to command mm. one nightmare. So I'll devour one unit. Okay. And I'm going to command a nightmare. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah, we've got two I'm more. Gonna You're going to end it now, one. aren't you? <laughs> I'm going to eat two. Uh-huh. And I'm going to come back here and eat three. Ah, okay. Darn it. Look how many guys you have. Look, we have the same amount of guys. All right, cool. So okay. we could split the... That's it. So that, <laughs> the that triggers the end game because yes. you only needed to have For 11. this set. For this scenario. Of nightmares. You need to have yes. 11. For these nightmares, yeah. Because yeah. there's obviously... These nightmares are actually geared towards ending the game very quickly yeah, 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 after yeah. the nightmares. And we'll talk out. about that when yeah. we wrap it up. Yep. Yeah. So that ends the game. Let's go talk about it. <laughs>
Um, I mean, again, with the exception of the yeah, fact there's that there's a bunch more nightmares, a ton of nightmares. Yeah, and they all do some crazy um, stuff. To yeah, and it really they really kind of push the game in a different direction. Yeah. So if you want like more interaction, more conflict, mm -hmm. um, you know, between players and stuff, you can bring out nightmares that mm -hmm. encourage that. Um, and it's a one to four cool. player game. Yes, which is yeah. really cool. I like the fact that you can solo this. Uh, the board does flip, so there is a bigger map yeah. um, for four players, three and four players, which I think is cool. And it's got these like nice covers that you can cover up some yeah. of the areas for a three player game, uh -huh. which kind of really blend with the board so they're not like obtrusive. Right. So there was definitely a lot of in, a lot of thought put in uh, into this design. Yeah. And um, as far as like, it's funny, as far as points go, like I'd be interested to play and kind of push the ritual track. Yeah. Which another, we haven't done. That's another option. Right? So it's like just produce guys on the board Try not to worry about conflict too much, and mm -hmm. then just spend them to just keep going back to that, that might same be, actions. Might be dependent upon what upgrades you I do. I think so get. too, and I think yeah, that yeah, kind yeah. of drives your strategy, uh -huh. which I think is pretty cool because I was really hamstringed by not getting a lot of good upgrade cards. Right. I, I basically had none the whole right. game, so I was just trying to play ploys. Yeah. Um, so I couldn't really leverage the power of my of my stronger abilities. Right. Which which hurt me, but I mm -hmm. think like like I didn't have an upgraded perform ritual. Neither did you, which yeah. is why we really didn't push this track because right. it wasn't beneficial to do that when we had much more powerful develop skills or fortify yeah, exactly. skills. I could just I could get stuff on the board done. Yeah. So I guess that's really part of well, the strategy. The, right? the neat thing about the upgrades too, and you guys probably didn't realize this as we were playing, but um, they there are I think different upgrades. So mm. like yes, like in there level are. one, You're for right. example. You might have, like, I got a couple of copies of the same upgrade, mm -hmm. and it's not the same upgrade. <laughs> right. Like, so you can, like, re-upgrade something mm -hmm. if if it's like, you okay, well, I really kind of want a strategy where I'm drawing more cards. Maybe you use that upgrade as right. opposed to the one that lets you resolve more conflicts. Exactly. Something. In the level one deck alone, yeah. you'll have three different maneuver upgrades, and they're all right. slightly different. Yes. So you have to decide which one's the best one for you, and you can replace it. Right. as well so it doesn't really hinder you to do that right, you know, right, to, right. To, to, to commit to one so yeah really cool I, I do like the fact that this thing um because you're thinking about oh i have to build this cathedral right and, yeah. it, and like that's a whole lot of stuff to get through that in order to get to the second part of the game uh -huh. but the cathedral happens in one full round it does yeah the cathedral comes out like right. if you look at the turn track right and we didn't we didn't push this forward we actually should have did that after the first round uh, we were technically in round two yeah um if you if you slow play this uh -huh. and you go around this track multiple times, the game's going to end at round four if you guys aren't pushing the end game condition. Exactly. So right. it will end either way as long as, but, you know, a maximum of four rounds. We, we ended the game in round two. Yeah. Which yeah. is like, I like the fact that you can kind of control mm -hmm. the pace of the game. Yeah, to sure. me, that's what I, I I do like that. Yeah, I am. Um, and as far as <laughs> for me, I'm a sucker for any of these games that like mm. operate in two phases. Yeah, I love two phase games. Like, take me to a point and then pivot, mm -hmm. and it's like, okay, now we have a new goal, and the end of the game kind of just, you know, she might catches she up might want to try one of the betrayal games because she's never played them, and they're <laughs> no, they're basically we, the two. We were phase just talking games. about this the other day about yes. these like two phase types of games but in yep. any case um yeah I, I really enjoy that because it's kind of like you your goal is one thing mm -hmm. and now all of a sudden in this case you're like running around like eating your people yeah because <laughs> you know and i don't i have no idea what that means thematically but like right. you're taking your followers and basically like throwing them into this mouth feeding them you to know the, feeding to them the to the nightmare because it's going to get you more points yeah at the end, so. i guess it's this whole it's crazy. just nuts like it's so wild but um the artist is nuts in this game yes, it's very twisted yeah and it is uh, the art is actually based on an artist mm. um who does these kind of just like i want to say horrific but like horror, horror themed. themed and i'm sure many of you out there who are watching this are probably playing Elden Ring. <laughs> yes, and this art very style similar. is very close to that yes. in some of the zones. It, it it does resemble this like just creepy hands and like all you know what I'm talking like about. Like dystopian you've, kind you've, of if you're playing it you know what I'm talking about. Creepy stuff. Or if you're watching somebody play. Yes, yeah, so or if you're watching <laughs> like somebody play it like you. So um yeah. yes it, it is de which is kind of cool because I, I do like that. Um it gives you that feel, especially like with the cathedrals because there's mm -hmm. a lot of those in the game. Yeah. Um, so 
All right. Yeah. Um, cool. Yeah, I don't think we want to go on too much more, right? It's things on. Yeah. So, right. so this is um, it's this currently, is live, currently right? on Kickstarter. Um, yeah. It should be for um, this for another couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, but yeah, as, as a prototype, this out. thing is pretty. It's pretty well, pretty much done, in my opinion. Like this. Yeah, it like, looks how good. How much more? I think yeah, the yeah. art on the on the nightmares wasn't final, which is why we have these printed copies. These are they, and I think they made some adjustments too for balance and stuff. Well, I know a lot of work went into making sure that it was yeah. like balance which you saw as we were finishing up round one we were like also running out of cards and mm -hmm. so it is very balanced that way yeah so uh, i think the way the game paces itself is it's kind of it's, it's well it's well laid out you know it, it's worked out that way every time we've played it so yeah. it's, it's kind of refreshing um but it's really cool really unique really different Definitely go check this one out. Um, Definitely not an area control game. No, you know what it, it is watch in, the play in spirit, but it doesn't feel so much. It doesn't hurt to lose an area, in my opinion. It's not that I because my argument is that this is more action selection than anything else. Yeah, that's where the core You're really is. Really choosing where you want to go. Yeah, and the combat's simple. Yeah. There's not a lot of thought to it, it, it mm -hmm. and it's like. You don't want to play all your great cards because yeah. they're good. So there's a lot of strategy in that, and it's like you know what. Kill my guys because they'll go into limbo. We didn't really show using them, but you could spend those guys to go up the ritual track. So yeah, you it can spend three to jump up. It doesn't up. affect your, yeah. your your presence on the board, which is cool exactly. too. So this, it's like a little like Valhalla. Yeah, kind they're of like type thing. they're kind of like they become currency, which is right. which is makes it not hurt to lose characters. And I think a lot of combat games right. that are in the Euro vein, you know, should leverage this. Like this, they should all be like that to where yeah. it just doesn't hurt to lose your guys mm -hmm. and they become a currency for you to spend in a different way to recover so that you're not getting so if somebody's like beating your guys up the whole game you're not falling behind because right. you're losing out on the control exactly you're actually using them to as a resource for something else i think that makes more, and, and you know, it's, it's, in, it's in a case nice. like us where we don't do a lot of conflict i think yeah. it actually encourages conflict it does because again you're not you're not really losing out. I mean, you might mm -hmm. like, oh, crap, I lost control and I needed that for something else, but right. it's not devastating. Yeah, in this game, it's so easy to get more units back on the board. Like, you yeah. just summon more and you get right. tons of units. And yeah. somebody else summons and they can actually inadvertently summon units for you. Yeah. So it's like, <laughs> either way. But, yeah. all right, so look, we'll put the Kickstarter link down below. Yes. Check it out before it ends. If you're interested, I say go for it. This is definitely a good one in my book. Yep. All right, so thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. We'll see you.